It's working? Yes, now it's working. Hi everyone, my name is Björn Gottowick. I'm from, uh, coming from Hamburg uh, in Germany uh, from the media agency Avonis. And today I want to talk about um, media solutions using Type 3 Magento for publishing companies. Um, as you maybe know, it's for a couple of years, years ago, if you want to buy a newspaper or magazine, you went to a news agent next to your door and you talked maybe to him and made your decision what you want to read during your weekend. And this time has changed a lot for p publishing companies because today the younger people, they're not going to the news agent anymore. They're going to their iPads and iPhones and they're making their decisions on these media devices. So for publishing companies, there's a uh, huge demand for uh, changing the way how they can reach their customers. And um, so this slide is still in German, I'm very sorry about that, but for the publishing companies, you can see that um, the buying rates are over the internet, they're increasing. And um, for, for the publishing companies, there's really time to change their mind and to find a solution going online with, with their magazines and newspapers and to make people buy it online and not going to the news agents anymore. So this is pretty easy to see. This was 2011 and growing and growing and they didn't do anything. And now it's a huge demand. A lot of magazines and newspapers asking for solutions. And um, as I said before, the media, the, the two main points are that media consumption has changed. So the first is that people doing their, they're making their decisions on the internet. So they don't go, they don't go somewhere. So if you want to hear some music, so just li um, just uh, see yourself. So you go to the internet, maybe you go to Spotify or somewhere else. So you don't go to the music store and buy your CDs or something. So or you buy your MP3 over the app stores. Um, so the media is coming to you. You don't go need to go to the media. And um, the second thing is that your media is um, available everywhere. So if you have bought a newspaper or a magazine, so you can read it everywhere on your iPad. So you don't want to to go to your go home and read your magazine at home. And for cu for publishing companies, this is a pretty pretty long story. So they they know it will take some time to change everything. So they need to change the internal processes. They need to change a lot of things. Uh, this slide is a bit broken. So we had a couple of requirements. So there are two main requirements from publishing companies. The, f the first thing is they just want a basic store. So please help me to have a basic store that I can sell something online. And the second thing is please help me that people can see what they have bought in the past and what they what what kind of subscription they have currently that they can see it online. So the first thing is basic shop, the second thing is CSS, what what means customer self service. So it's not a technical term. Um, and um, so we, we, we had a look at a lot of different uh, content management systems and shopping systems. So we, we had to look at WordPress, at Drupal and basically, we, we make the decision to use Taipo 3 because it's very stable and extendable and future-proof. Um, and of course, we can find a lot of good developers here in Germany. So, um, so we make the decision to use Taipo 3. And um, yeah, what's a bit sad is that Taipo 3 is not that strong what's been coming to, to e-commerce. So this uh, that was the reason that we, uh, on top of it, we, we used Magento to, to cover the needs for e-commerce. And... Um, Yeah, it's moving a bit. Um, so around these basic requirements, we have a lot of other requirements. Not everybody, not every every company uh, has these requirements. So this was like we have we have diff um, we have basic requirements like basic shop and customer self service. And around that, we have different companies, and they w they have other requirements like they want to have an e-reader that people can read something online, or they want to have cross selling in their shops because they don't sell maybe four or five issue issues. They have a lot of issues, and um, they won't have digital products. They want to sell something on the iPad. They don't sell in their news agent store. So there are a lot of things around that. But but our um, so our solution should cover not only um, should not cover the, the requirements of one company. So for more companies, for more magazines and newspaper companies. So this was the reason why we wanted to create a solution for with a modular approach. Um, so I just want to go 
down a bit in the online shop requirements. So the first thing was we want to have a regular shop. This means just like, um, you know, maybe eBay or Amazon, that you are able to, to buy your issue maybe three or four weeks and you missed it. So you got a, you got a um, way to go online and buy your issue in the web shop with a basket, with a checkout process, buying something. So this will be basically covered by Magento. And uh, the second thing is, you want to you want to cover the subscription process. So if one, someone wants decides to to read your magazine, that he's able to to um, subscribe online. So there's a process, different steps. You enter your name, and you're yeah di basically you're signing some kind of contract. So this is the reason why the regular shop and the subscription shop they're always separated in Germany. So you can never buy a single issue together with a subscription because a subscription is something like a contract. And the single issue is something you can buy online and that, that's it. So the process is over. And that's basically the reason why we're able to, to use two different, different systems. So one for shopping and one for subscription, the more flexible things. Um, the third approach is that, that we are able to cover not only Germany, so on, um, also German speak, um, German speaking countries here, and uh, we won't go far um, for, for go to to England and uh, the US. So this system should cover a lot of cu uh, countries. And the f uh, fourth thing is uh, data management. So people should be able, or the management should be able to export and import the data manage the client's data, the orders, cancel the order, or something like that. So um, these are the regular shop requirements, very, very basic requirements. Every, everybody should know, should think, okay, it's easy to find a software for that. No, it's not that easy. We took some time to find the, the right systems. Um, the next thing is the customer self-service. This is a very individual solution. So people should be able to see their orders online. So this means not only the orders they had, so the orders of, of the shop, so what they bought in the shop. So maybe they had a subscription two or three years ago. Sh they should be able to see this online. So some, somebody called a news, a news agent or someone for two years ago and made a subscription. Should be, he should be able to cancel it online and uh, to manage his data. So if you go to holiday or you go abroad for one year, you should be able to do a subscription break so they don't charge you for something you cannot read in the um, outside of Germany. Um, a lot of other things like services that you can add more addresses, you can you have a contact form, you cover the, f um, the frequently asked questions um, so that people are basically able to manage their data, their subscriptions, their orders themselves online. They don't have to call somebody all the time. So these were the, keys, were, were the key features. Like, um, should be an easy and efficient way for, for companies, for publishing companies to go online. Um, should work, sure, should work on, on uh, mobile devices. Uh, should be able to set up for us. Should be able. We should be able to set up a new brand shop pretty quickly. So shouldn't take three or four months for another magazine or another newspaper to go online. Should be. Should be able. We should be able to set up maybe in two or three weeks because there's a huge demand. A lot of newspapers are waiting out there, and a um, lot of other requirements. Um, and. On top of these basic solutions, uh, so basic solution with the basic shop and the customer self-service, we have a lot, of, a lot of optional modules. This means that not every every magazine needs this. Um, so, for example, some some companies said, "No, we don't need a credit card payment. We just maybe sell four or five issues per month. So it doesn't make sense to set up a credit card payment. We can save some money." So we say, "Okay." There's additional modules, not every uh, company needs that. And we have digital products. So some are saying, no, we, we just want to sell our, our printed uh, issue. We don't want to sell some, some digital products online. So these are basically optional modules. Um, so they are coming into play if someone needs an extended um, shopping experience. So what, we, what we've done is uh, we used this, um, use these solutions uh, several times now. So there are a lot of new shops in development. And one shop um, went online oh, it's a couple of months ago. And this is Brand 1. And I just want to show you how this, shop, uh, how, how this solu solution with Type 3 and Magento can look online.
now it's switching to the responsive view, but it's working. Um, so basically what we have is um, we have a shopping, shopping website. Just let me go to the website. So basically, if you go to the to the uh, home page, what you see is um, the the brand page or the web website. You see the current issue. You can read or search something. So this whole page is using Typo three. So we set up a lot of grid elements. I think you guys you know this all. So uh, a lot of grid elements, content elements. So the the editorial stuff from Brand Eins from the magazine is able to to um, design every page every issue on their, based on their requirements. So you're able to read something. It's very music, beautiful, like, I think. So you, they're able to, to add their pictures. They can add their text. There are a lot of features. So this is everything. It's Typo 3. Um, so they are also able to, to uh, hide something or to disable a new issue so that people cannot see everything or read everything until they buy it online or they go to shop. And if you want to buy something, you can go, uh, you can go to the, we, could, we call it online kiosk, so like the online shop. And here you have, you're, you're currently switching to Magento. So it's not recognized by the user. It's highly integrated, so people don't see um, that they're currently using two different systems. And behind the scenes, they, the Typo 3 is the major system. So Typo 3 is gathering all the data. It's um, connected to Magento, reading the client data, reading what people have ordered. It's connecting other systems. So Typo 3 is basically the major system because it's very, very easy to set up plugins and modules for Typo 3. It's much harder and taking a lot of more time to set up new modules with Magento. So this is um, because we use Typo 3 for all, for all flexible elements. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. Okay, um, so this was the demo. Um, so yeah, so um, for for um, for the bi basic requirements, it's easy to set up a Typo three shop uh, or Typo three website together with the Magenta shop now. So what's more. Um, challenging is to to change the ordering process people uh, experience on the website. Sorry, this is still in German. I will explain you in English. So the ordering process um, in the in the future for subscribers will change because currently it's like you can you can decide in advance um, if you want to to subscribe for a print printed issue or for a digital issue. So what, what we want to change is that people decide first. I just want to have an issue. I don't. I don't care how I get it. I'm just. I just interested in reading this magazine. So the first step is I decide how long I want re want to read it. How my subscription looks like. I can have a test subscription. I can have something like two years subscription. This is my first decision, and the next decision should be that people are able to 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 um, to decide how they want to read their magazine. Want they want that, want they um, the com the companies to send it uh, home. Or they want to use an e-reader or an app. So the publishing companies are pretty flexible to decide with their uh, commerce modules or their commerce logic how they sell their their um, their issues online. So you can have the printed issue, you can use the app, you can use both or three of them. So there are different different options how to read your magazine. And the third thing is you always know you get their bonuses. So um, if you do a two years um, subscription, they give you something um, like additional book or something or um, pen or, or whatever. So um, this is the the last option is uh, just how how um, you get you get a bonus. And uh, after you decided how to want you read your um, your magazine, then we have we will have this e-reader. So behind the scenes. We, the, the companies, they all have their production system where the issues are set up and everything. And Typo 3 is gathering all the data, all of their systems. It's basically XML files, and it's transformed into the website. So the editorial stuff, they only need to change it a bit, add some pictures, but basically they don't need to add all the issue articles into the Typo 3 system. This is done automatically. 
And um, out of this system, we are able to create an online reading experience as well. So if you have the d all the data in, in the Type 3, we have some nice pictures in them. We are able to, to, to create this e-reader. This is from Spiegel, the German mirror. It's not our system, but it's almost the same. So this is from Adobe, a special solution. So we just need to, to take out the, data, the data from Type 3 and to fill it in there. And then you get a browser reading experience from, for your magazine. And the next thing is we use we are working together with the Access Springer, and they have a special solution. For, uh, solution maybe you know it's the eye kiosk for reading magazines online. So what the Type 3 is doing, we have an app connector, and Type 3 is playing like a uh, permission machine. So if you have a subscription for maybe for for issue number four, and you want to read your issue number four in the eye kiosk, then the eye kiosk is going to the Type 3 and asking, okay, is this user is he allowed to, to read number four? And then he get access on his iPad or Android phone and can read the magazine. And so the Type 3 basically is uh, managing the data, the subscription data, and this is all connected to the publishing company basic system. So they got a CRM or uh, SAP systems. So we made the connection there. So that's it basically. Um, so chip shopping system, modular basis for covering a lot of magazines and newspapers uh, for bringing these companies online after a lot of years now, they're recognizing that it's time to, to change. Thank you very much. Um, open for questions. Um, if you want to go to our website, it's avonis.com. You can find our cases there and uh, our work there. And thank you for listening.